I am partly Russian and the persecution that I felt because of my genealogy has been horrible. But the roots of where this started is very important for everybody to know. And it is not a black and white situation, is that also fair to say? Yeah. Is it fair to say that we do not want to see another situation that is anywhere similar to the George Bush era choosing the side of Russia, I'm not here choosing the side of Ukraine. Both countries have great people and nobody wants to see people from either of those countries suffering. Do we agree on that? Do we agree on that? Do we also agree that the war is a complicated situation, it is in intricate and it is not a black and white situation? Is that also fair to say? Is it fair to say that we do not want to see another situation that is anywhere similar to the George Bush era war on terror that saw unspeakable amounts of our taxpayer dollars overseas, our troops overseas, and Australian lives lost. We don't want to see something like that, do we? No, ab absolutely not. So uh, my message is very, very simple, and that is that I believe that we're here speaking on behalf of millions of Australians when we say that we don't want to see hundreds of millions of dollars of our equipment going overseas to fight in foreign wars. No, we absolutely agree on a peace negotiation and if Australia can play a meaningful role in that peace negotiation, then I think that is most definitely where we are best suited. And of course, when we look at the military hardware sent overseas, it also forces us to look at our own ADF right here in Australia. We, un we know that our ADF is underfunded, they're under-equipped, and it should be the absolute objective of the federal government to increase our military spending to ensure that Australia can first meet its defence capabilities before it seeks to uh, contribute defence to other nations. Is that also a fair comment? That we need to look after our own backyard before we look after the backyards of the country. All right, so in closing, ladies and gentlemen, it's peace, it's not choosing one side or the other, it is simply uh, seeking to position ourselves whereby we can help contribute to peace negotiations. And we must keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, that unless you, me, and everybody who cares intervenes in the political process, then you can expect to see further situations such as the George Bush era war on terror, which led to, of course, a destabilized Middle East and a, a, a reign of destruction that throughout the world. So guys, we've got an election next month. The objective is we need to sack Dan Andrews. Are we ready to do that? All right, so that's just about it from me. Uh, I don't have anything more to comment, but guys, Victoria's future is depending on you. 
we have a once in a lifetime opportunity to shake things up, to redirect the course of history in our state and to replicate that throughout our country so that we don't have to be involved in these foreign wars and so that we can start looking after each other again. So consider doing something different this state election. I'll just be brazen. Freedom Party of Victoria, I'm the state leader of this party. We're grassroots, we're built in Victoria, made for Victoria, and please consider supporting us this election. Thank you, God bless, I'll see you soon. Amen. Thank you, Morgan. Much appreciated. Love what you're doing, man, love what you're doing. Not want to be too political today, but we all know this election is already fixed, right? We know corruption lives here, right? Keep calling it out up until election day. We need them to know that we're not sucked in anymore. He's got winning elections to be up for this man. But it's got to end. It hasn't been democracy. It's a little bit. I'll send it to you if you want. Yeah, I've got a museum of democracy now. That if you realize, I just read that last week. It's in the museum. It's crap. Please welcome Alexander to the microphone before you head off. Thank you everybody. I'm here. Um, sorry, my throat's a bit sore, everybody. I'm an Oscar nominated film producer. I um, actually. Oh, sorry. I actually. Oh, sorry. Um, I actually made a film that was nominated for an Academy Award several years ago in Poland. This was a story called Most the Bridge. And I believe that we are here right now. Sorry. Um, I am partly Russian and the persecution that I felt because of my genealogy has been horrible. But the roots of where this started is very important for everybody to know. And in the early century, our family was persecuted by a Marxist Red Army. That Red Army came from the great-grandfather of Zelensky. Our family was persecuted and came out of Russia into Ukraine and into Europe. So this is very confronting. Many people don't understand the full impact of what it is to be a refugee running for your life against a red Marxist army. A lot of people, and I'm in the film industry, and I'm a journalist, and a lot of the stories that you are hearing out of Ukraine is not right. There are many things behind the scenes that need to be addressed, and it looks a certain way, but it's not that way. So I'm here to speak truth. I'm here to speak for people that deflected out of Russia into Ukraine that never have had a voice. I'm here to speak about 250,000 children and women that are sexually trafficked out of Russia and Ukraine. I'm here to speak about the nuclear weapons that have been organized through different areas underground. We're here for the people. We are here to make sure that people get to hear the truth. And that needs to be spoken. My movie has seen many people come out of regions of captivity and being silenced. So today, I want to just go to the roots of where this started and what we need to do to get people out and feel safe again and speak. America. America. Are we in Australia? So, Are we in Australia? There's a lot more to say, but you know, that's the stuff. Um, do you want to do, do, do any more? But we are crossing You're over right. and it's up to us to want to see this happen. Okay. And we're going to see a lot of healing when this happens. Thank you, everyone. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you for your witness. Appreciate it. Okay, one final word. 
All right, everybody, it's time to march. Yay. Let's get all the banners up to the back over there and let's get ready to march. We're going to start the march in about five minutes, everyone, with a flag and a banner to the front. And can this track Okay, all right, let's, start it. let's head over there.